What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and I just noticed something on the Gods Unchained crypto chart that might put it into the buy range. We're also gonna take a look at the Ethereum chart and see if that's a good value. So whether you're a long-term investor or a trader, or you just wanna get Gods and Ethereum at a good value so that you can spend it in game on things like packs and other cards, you probably need an exchange like Coinbase to be able to buy the crypto. I have provided a link in the description of this video if you haven't signed up for an exchange yet, and if you use that link, you will get $10 worth of Bitcoin for free, which is amazing because you can immediately turn around and turn that Bitcoin into Ethereum or even the gods token if you'd really, really like to. But let's go ahead and take a look at this chart because this is the gods token. And I'm sure you've heard that old phrase, buy low, sell high, and buy when others are fearful, and sell when others are greedy. Well, take a look at this. This is a trend line I drew several days ago. It was actually, um, I first noticed uh, and started keeping track of the gods token right around here, which was um, December 10th. And I thought, you know, once it hit this line, it was going to be a telling point. This top line at about $7.53. And sure enough, um, it bounced right off that line and came real, real far down, down to, let's see, the low right after it hit that high was $4.41. So then it immediately went straight back up in a V-shaped recovery and again, bounced off that $7 and it's about 56 cent line there, this time making a lower high. And then we watched it stair step down over the last couple of weeks and days. Um, just bouncing off this trend line right here. I drew this red line to show the trend. Um, but take a look at what's happening now. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see it better. But what we have going on is a triangle shape like this. And it's coming to a point where it needs to decide what it's going to do. It's either got to go up or it's got to go down. Now, let me give you the bear case first. Um, and the bear case simply has to do with um, Ethereum. Uh, and this is the Ethereum chart. You can see Ethereum is also in a downtrend. Well, Ethereum could potentially go a little bit lower, and we're going to get back to this. But if Ethereum does go lower, and Bitcoin for that matter, because Bitcoin does dictate a lot of the market, uh, that often does force other altcoins like the gods token to follow. Uh, and so if that were to happen, and this is the longest uh, term chart I have for gods, you could potentially see gods punch through this floor down here and go lower. Um, however, uh, I would say that I lean a little more bullish for this reason. It's already very low and it's come down to the same point right here. This yellow line uh, that's about $4 It's just over $4, about $4.03 and it's bounced off of it several times like this. Now this is on a four hour time frame because there's just not a whole lot of data for this token yet. So yes, absolutely, this can punch through the floor and just go down and down and down and down. That totally could happen, especially because the market cap of Gods Unchained is not very large. So little movements um, in price uh, can create a lot of volatility um, and what I should say, just uh, little movements in like buying and selling can create a lot of volatility and um, the price can go up and down rapidly. In fact, you can see with this particular coin, it does go up and down. Um, however, uh, I don't feel like the bearish uh, scenario is likely to play out. I think the bullish scenario is likelier, but I am not a financial advisor, so don't take this as specific advice for you. But see what we really have going on here. Even if for some reason, the God's token wasn't macro bullish. Take a look at what it does. It's channeling sideways through this beautiful three layers. And it's actually making it somewhat predictable. What does it do when it reaches the bottom? What did it do when it reached the bottom here? Pop back up. What did it do when it reached here? Popped up. How about here? Popped up. See that? Now this one, it like overshot. But what did it do? <laughs> it overshot to the upside. So... Uh, taking a look at this chart, I think there's no better analogy for this than this is like a rubber band. And that's why I have the RSI indicator down here too. Because if you can imagine a rubber band running right through the middle of this, and I'll run, I'll run this rubber band right through the middle. Here we go. And let's change the color of it to maybe be like something a little different, like orange. We'll make it orange. Okay. So this is like a rubber band. So when you pull the rubber band 
in any direction, up or down, like if we were to pull it up, then it gets harder to pull and harder to keep it up. So it tends to snap back down towards the line. But what happens is it tends to overshoot the line and it goes down towards the bottom. And it's kind of like getting pulled towards the bottom again. The further down it gets pulled, the likelier it is to snap back. Okay, now on the RSI indicator down here, it just constantly wiggles back and forth like this. Um, and it's gonna do that whether uh, the chart is going up, 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 and up, or down, down, down. You'll see it wiggle back and forth like that on a chart like this. But we're also seeing it wiggle back and forth like this on the actual price chart. Um, and so the rubber band elasticity metaphor is actually working here too. When it gets down to the bottom, and this is why I'm a little more bullish right now on God's Unchained is because when it gets down to the bottom here, it's, it's really hard to make it go low. People are trying, they're trying to maybe like sell off some more gods. Maybe they're getting really afraid or something like that, but it keeps getting bought back up. See these long wicks down here, when it gets down to the bottom like this, these wicks mean that people are buying it up every time. It got down here. It took a little bit longer for the buyers, but they pushed it way up. And we just got a little wick to the line right in the last like ooh, eight hours or so. So there's a little wick right there. But what this triangle tells me, because it's been following this trend line up here and it's been following this line down here, is it's got a decision to make. It's either got to go down or it's got to go up. And I feel like... Um, for me, the bullish scenario is probably more likely, which is that the next move it makes is probably to the upside. And now we could see something like where it goes maybe like up and then maybe hits and comes down. And what we want to look for is a higher low potentially where it can punch right back through this middle line again and then go up. And then we'll probably see it go up like that. Now, it's entirely possible that... Uh, this, hold on one second, let me delete this line here. It's entirely possible that this just does this kind of move again, all right? But here's what I eventually want to see with Gods Unchained is that maybe it'll get up there and it'll come down. I wanted to start uh, using this $5.42 line as the line in the sand, the, the support level, to where it can then go up and make new all-time highs. And in fact, uh, we know that more and more players are coming into Gods Unchained. There's beyond just players who want the Gods tokens, there are a lot of investors and traders out there who want this as well. So this coin does have the potential for some really big gains. And it feels to me, looking at the market cap, that it's at a pretty good uh, spot to be buying it. Of course, I could be totally wrong. This coin could just go down. Um, that's why I'm not making a call on it, on whether it's going to go up or down. You make that decision for yourself if you're going to invest in this coin. Uh, but uh, I feel like the odds are pointing up. Now, let's take a look at Ethereum briefly because it's also in a little bit of a downtrend here. But if we zoom out, you can see that macro, it just it goes up and up and up. See these like big moves right here? They look huge, right? But if we go back to these spots that look flat, and zoom in well it's not really as flat as you'd think because back in the <laughs> back in the day like when this was trading that looks pretty volatile too right so uh it's not just um but i mean gosh look at that it just goes up and up so so this is ethereum so really this little pullback right here which is about how many percent 25 percent I mean, 25% is a huge drop, right? But in the grand scheme of things, this thing just keeps moving up. And we're getting another one of these triangle shapes right here. Uh, now, there's potentially uh, an even more bullish sign for Ethereum because it has more of a price history. And that is just that whenever you get shapes like this, um, where you get these big movements up, you get these little flags down for a moment before it makes its next big move up. And you get another flag right here and then it moves up. Well, look, we're making another flag right here. The hope is, of course, that you're going to then see another move up like that. All right. And um, I would say that all indications are that's pretty likely because this rubber band is starting to stretch down below. In this case, the the rubber band is this orange line right here. So it's moved be below that. And the further below it it gets, 
the harder it is to push it lower. Now, can it go lower? It can absolutely go lower. In fact, um, you know, if we see Ethereum and Bitcoin move lower, then we might just see gods hover uh, lower as well. Um, but we, we could even just see sideways movement um, and, and it would involve really big ups and downs. But I mean, what if we saw something like this where Ethereum just kind of goes sideways for a little bit, you know, <laughs> um, that could totally happen. Uh, however, I just kind of um, feel like this is a really strong support line right here. This trend line that's moving up and we've already got one sitting here as well. Now, uh, I would not be surprised because we got a, a bounce near this line down. Would not be surprised to actually see this fall a bit more and come all the way down here at about $3,500, $3,400 before we actually see some buying right around in this range here. Um, so, you know, it would look a little bit like this. Down, bounce, maybe we finally get the breakthrough and then we go up. All right. Um, but th that's not to say that we, we couldn't see some uh, chop around here first. So uh, anyway, I hope that this was useful for you and just kind of gave you an idea, a little bit of the, the bearish side, a little bit of the bullish side so you can make the decision for yourself. I personally am leaning a little bit bullish on both, even though the trend is down. Um, what you want to do, though, is wait for confirmation on both of these. Uh, and what that means is, uh, let me delete this line. Um, if it does make that move, as soon as it gets through the line and maybe comes back and tests, you could buy it here for like the same price. But this means it's breaking trend and then it's a it's a good buy. Um, it hasn't broken trend yet. The trend is your friend. The trend is down. And so, I mean, it could just, what, what if it does just keep doing that, you know? <laughs> so wait for that confirmation on both the gods token and on Ethereum. If you enjoy things like this, I, which I hope you do, um, please consider hitting that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live. And I will catch you in the next one.